I want to speak to those of you out there who are feeling lower than low, deeper than just being down. Those who feel defeated and there's no way to turn your situation around. Romans 8 verse 1 says, There's now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Hello, my name is Jason from Depoy Ministries, and I just wanted to take a minute to reach out to those of you who feel like you don't measure up, that you're not good enough. And let's just take a, a look at one verse, Romans 8 and 1. Because of Jesus, the Bible says there's now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. So if you've given your life to Jesus, if you are saved and born again, the Bible says right now, no matter what you're facing, right now, there's no condemnation. Now here's the thing. That means God is not condemning you. That means Jesus is not condemning you. No matter what it is, no matter what you've done, if there's any condemnation, it's because you are condemning you because you're listening to the adversary trying to condemn you just like everything else in the kingdom of God we have to receive it by faith so even when you're tempted to put yourself down I'm not good enough I'm never going to be good enough I'm never going to get through this I don't have what it takes then you're going to fall prey p-r-e-y to the adversary's ploy and his ploy his strategy is to get you to beat yourself up, to dig your own hole that you'll crawl in and never come out. That's not God's will for you. You have to shake that stuff off and you have to say, I receive the peace of God right now and I receive his forgiveness and I forgive myself because God's not condemning you. Jesus isn't condemning you. So why should you condemn you? Amen.